I remember one show from my childhood. Only one. This is the only full memory I have of my childhood before I moved. When I was about four, I lived in a condo. It was average, sized and fairly nice. That's about all I know to describe it other than it was two stories. I can't remember what I did there, but I know I was not old enough to attend school. Instead, I spent all day at home trying to amuse myself. It's funny, I never remember leaving my home other than to play in the yard. Even then, I never left the front yard. I do remember one thing very well, though. I remember a TV show I watched. It played on Nagana at 2.30 a.m. I don't remember ever doing anything else at the condo. I would watch the show. I cannot remember the name, nor can I remember any character name. I can only remember one character, the Boogie Man. He was very strange. He'd wear a nice suit and carry a cane. And his head was like a green, exposed and swollen. It was green, too. A very bright green, like fresh summer grass. He'd spin around. He'd spin like, as the only thing my young brain would equate it to, a ballerina. He'd spin around and around while singing, in a terribly strange voice, words I cannot recall. I think it was something like, Here comes the Boogie Man. Here comes the Boogie Man. The other characters looked as if they were high school students. Considering shows from the same time period, they must have been middle school students in the show. There was your stereotypical cast. A black girl, a white girl, a leader, boy, a cowardly male and a jiki girl. The jiki girl spent all the episodes on a computer, clicking away at keys that monitored their environment. The school. Yes, this all took place at a school. A red, pink, brown brick school. This school had lots of surveillance cameras. The year at this point was 2001. There are no children shows had really adapted to the 9-11 standards of cameras everywhere. Hell, even now, in shows you almost never see cameras in school like there are in my high school. I found this strange. At my age, never having been to a school, I remember that I thought schools never had cameras. There were four different areas that were used a lot. A hallway intersection, a classroom, for a nondescript class, an outside lunch table, and a dark room. The hallways were always a pink-red color with shiny tiles and the walls in off-white. These kids would sneak into the school after dark every night to try and catch the boogie man. They didn't seem like they wanted to go and find him as the only time they left the room was when they needed something. Otherwise, they'd stay in the classroom, barring the doors, with chairs and having the girl at the computer tell them where he was in the school using the cameras. There was a gum distancing machine by the monitor. It was a replica of the Boogie Man, but with a purple green head and it was really small. They all looked like they were out of breath. Like they had just finished running. One episode had the Boogie Man spinning down the intersection, singing. The students all sat there, watching him on the monitor. He kept singing, Here comes the Boogie Man. After a few seconds, his son continued, going past what must have been the chorus. The Boogie Man will always come. The Boogie Man is scared of none. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Your rotting bodies will fall to rust. To my innocent mind at two in the morning, this was perfectly fine. I then thought of something. I never actually saw the kids enter the school. I never saw them with equipment to catch this boogie man. It was never dark. The outside table was well lit by the sun. They never showed any students ever leave the building. And one last thing. The pinkish tiles were a bit darker than pink. It was a rather shiny maroon shade. The show isn't on anymore. It seemed a lot like Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is more than a scary story, more than just another knockoff of Candle Cove. This is a true, honest-to-God show I remember as a kid, and any information you have on it would be very helpful if anyone remembers the name of this show.